I surrender. What? Easy now, Agent. UNATCO has a policy against killing unarmed prisoners. We have much to learn from each other. We're assuming control of the airfield. The vaccine will be returned to the international authorities. Don't you want to hear why your brother came over to our side? He makes his own decisions. You know he wouldn't betray UNATCO without a reason. Good work. Now finish the job. He surrendered. He's an unarmed prisoner. UNATCO policy protects him. Terminate the prisoner, Agent. If you are too afraid, you are ordered to return to base on Manderley's authority. There is a helicopter waiting. She was out of line there about the execution, but... Oh my god. Manderley will have you shot. We have to erase the log files. I don't like this, but I'll protect you this time. I guess you have to stand up for what you believe. I guess Paul must have convinced you. All right. We're alone. If you have proof of a conspiracy, let's hear it. The question you've got to ask, I'm surprised you haven't, is the obvious one. Who am I? Who made me, and for what purpose? Unatko has briefed me on my augmentations. Get to the point. Your parents were murdered precisely because they could have told you the correct answer to that question. That's a pretty big claim. You didn't have parents. The ones you knew were employees. You were made by a couple of technophiles so crazed for power that they would control not only governments and people, but the chemistry of our bodies as well. Your proof? You're the proof. You and Paul. When you get back to UNATCO, pay attention. Something's not right. You're really working for a group of conspirators called Majestic Twelve. You expect me to believe there's a group of people powerful enough to control the United Nations? The UN and UNATCO are just a couple of their tools. UNATCO has already occupied the airfield. Just go through the motions and report back to Liberty Island. I can't do anything for you here. Be patient. Someone will contact you soon. <laughs>